I need your help, boys, because the golf is unwell, and I can't for the life of me work out what it actually is. And it's like 30 degrees today, so it's disgusting. But before we get any further into the video, I'll just say a massive shout out and thank you to everyone that's ordered so far on the B7 Performance website. The support's been really, really good. The Instagram's been blowing up as well. So if anyone has gone and purchased something, thank you. Um, for the t-shirts, see a few people questioning about the postage. I couldn't change the postage for selected products, but I have now, so instead of the, the postage being like seven quid, because you've got to understand that that was seven pound for an exhaust as well. So that's a lot. But it, it, it makes sense for the exhaust, but not for the t-shirts. But now I've been able to alter it. So now the t-shirt postage is £3.50, which is what it costs me physically. And t-shirt is £15. We've already sold like 10 of them. So if you haven't already, go to the store just to grab anything. Links down below. Um, if you can like the Facebook page and follow the Instagram as well, that'd be great. And uh, we now also are supplying AirTech Motorsport intercoolers for the Fiesta ST and a lot more soon I just need to add it all and a few other companies have reached out to me that I'm going to be adding on the site soon but um, yeah we need to figure out what's going on with the Gulf at the moment so I'm going to take it for a drive and then you'll understand what it is I don't want to drive far because this car scares shit at me at the moment okay so let me turn down my air conditioning so you can hear it, it started doing this when I went for a photo shoot I went to make a video, realised what I had, I couldn't install myself anyway. But when I let off the throttle, can you hear that? It's weird because it doesn't make the noise or it unless the noise is masked by me accelerating. When I'm accelerating, I can't hear it. If I'm braking, I can't hear it. But if I'm not, it's so hard to get the noise that you make. So if I go to some speed and let off. It's not it's literally decided not to do it now. Essentially the noise is making, it sounds like a train going over train tracks going like clunk, 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 clunk. So originally I thought it was the dog bone mount, but I've looked at the bushing off the stock mount, it looks fine. I do know they do an insert. What I bought was the whole power flex replacement. But when I started to fit, I realized how much of a big job it was. And I was like, I'm not comfortable doing this on my own because my car's gonna be stuck in my unit. And I made a whole video on it and that pissed me off because I couldn't even upload it. But I think here a bit that it's so hard to capture sound that and it's not a top mount. I don't know if you heard it then. I'll have to when I edit it back to see if I can hear it, but you can hear it now. It's got worse over the past week. I've tried not to drive my car too much, but you can hear it. And it's like a knock and the engine, I've tried to like swing it, it doesn't really swing, so it's not like the engine mount's gone. Um Performance wise, the car still performs the same, so that makes me not think it's anything internally on the engine. Like, it's not like the engine isn't knocking, it's as if like my lower arm or like a, a mount or a bushing has gone. But when I looked there, and someone else looked there, couldn't see anything. I asked about in the forum, everyone just said like the dog bone mount, get like the insert or something like that. But I, I just don't know, I can't work out what it could possibly be. So I thought my best bet is just to ask you guys and see if you had an opinion or if you own a golf by yourself, this is a common problem. Look, it made it loads of noise in, wait. Don't feel it in. It just sounds as if something's loose and knocking about. You can hear it there. But I don't think it's the engine, like, I'm, I'm fucking praying to God it's not the engine. But something is not right. Um, I'm going to try and, like, show you around the engine bay and that, but I'm at home today. I don't want to drive this to my unit. And I don't, I left my little jack up the unit as well. So the most I can do is probably drive it onto some blocks or on a curb. But underneath looks fine. Um, someone did say the two sort of metal mount inserts, like the the hangers of the DK exhaust, the way they go into bushings, sometimes they fall out, hasn't fallen out, it's still in them. Um, I'm just sort of at a loose end and trying to work out because this car's supposed to be going stage two this month and I'm gonna have to delay that because I can't take this car for a three hour drive or get it mapped when it's, something's wrong with it. So um, 
Yeah, if anyone's got any ideas, let me know. I'm going to try and show you the outside now. But, uh, yeah, for now, that's all I've got. So, from literally when I took the camera down to when I got home, it got a lot worse. And it literally is like bang, ba bang, ba bang, ba bang, ba bang, as soon as I let go. Well, not like that, but it's like knocking ish. So I'm kind of scared, can't lie. Um, but what I thought I'd do is I'm going to merge in the video I did before when it's underneath it, and then hopefully someone will see something that I may maybe I've missed. So all the footage from the other video that I've done, I'm going to put in this one as well, and then you can all be like inspect the Clouseaus and try and work out what is wrong with it. I've got the Power Flex Massive Brushing, but I don't fancy fitting that's one. If I can just get away of just putting an insert in it, because the engine mounts on these come like half filled, it's really weird. But um, yeah, you can get an insert so it make it stronger. But I, I don't think that's the case. I, I just really don't know. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared shitless. So um, we're gonna throw all that stuff in now and then uh, I'll see how this video's turned out and then we'll have a wrap up because I'm fucking lost. I don't know what to do. Are we ready, big man? Of course we're ready. We're born ready. Stop, start, E36 life, you know it. Oh, yes. Let's get this out without hitting Bobby's car, shall we? Me and baby Yoda We're going on an adventure in the skit car ah! He's dead. Do you think he's dead? Do you think he's dead? I think he's dead. Okay, there goes nothing. This, that is a dead wasp. But, oh nice. That is from the E36, I think, and hope. But, let's have a look, shall we? Alright, so this is the dog bone mount. That everyone goes on about. Um, I'll put the camera down for a second, try and find something, but... Fingers crossed it's just pushing in here, it's gone wrong. And I have bought the right one, I'm looking at it now and it looks the exact same. I forgot to put shoes on. I'm probably going to hurt myself. Let's have a look shall we? Ooh, hydraulics. Alright, here we go. So, obviously this is, I'm going to try to, the, this is still hot and I've left this like over an hour and I only drove it 15 minutes. If I like push down on this, it doesn't rock anywhere. Like. That is fucking hot, but it ain't rocking nowhere. Um, I'd show me wiggling the decap, but it, don't, it doesn't actually wobble at all. Um, there's no dripping. I see. Just I can't work out what it could possibly be. Like it blows my mind to work it out. I'll show you underneath it from just here. Obviously, as you can see. The two, like, I can't remember what they're called, the part, part of the hangers for the decat are in line. Uh, nothing looks out of place or wrong. I mean, I, I just can't work it out. But I try to show where I can when it makes a noise. Oh, my fucking knees. But, uh, feel that. Nice. I just, I, I have no idea what else it could possibly be so I just need some help um unless it is just I need to get the insert for the engine mount but I don't even think that I had any problems with it to be honest so uh, I I don't know I, I don't have an actual clue what it could be um please help me because I'm, I'm running out of ideas of what it is and it's scaring the shit out of me I'd rather not have that thought in my head. Um, I just don't know. Like, it's just pissing me off because I can't even drive this properly at the moment because of it. My Fiesta, I think I need a new math sensor. My BM ain't insured or anything, even though I want to drive that as well. So, it's just not going exactly how I'd like to, if I'm honest with you. I just want to go have a rag. I ain't even got any cars I can do that in. Um, just please comment down below if you can think of anything, no matter if your suggestion is stupid, anything will help. But I'll leave that as that is. This is just like a, a calling out help to you guys. 
Um, also, like I said before, if you haven't already grabbed me for the store, make sure you do. I want a new end screen, so that's going to be sick. Thank you to mate who did that. And sold out of all the lanyards now. If you'd like to see, because I've sold 10 t shirts already of the B7 Performance ones, like they've been selling fast. I'm well, well impressed with that. If any of you want to see B7 Performance stickers or lanyards, please comment down below and let me know as well, please. Um, just appreciative because I don't want to buy a load and then no one wants them, then I look a bit of a tit. So, yeah. Smash a like, comment down below, hit the subscribe button, check out the Patreon, and uh, obviously make sure you check out the store. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Hopefully we're on better news. <laughs>